Why businesses go bust, huh? Okay, ready? So I started noticing those articles um, on the web, on BBC, or oh, this business goes bust because of the virus, the current virus, obviously. I don't really want to say the name. Uh, or oh, this business goes because of virus, or this thing happens because of the virus, or this person lost their jobs, uh, uh, lost uh, his or her job because of the virus. And, and that is ridiculous. How I'm gonna make it clear to you how stupid that is. So let's go to uh, this first thing. My business is going bust because of the virus. No, your business is going bust because you're making losses, because you're not making profits, because you spend more money than you make um, income, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's That is the only reason why a business can go bust. Oh yeah, but it's caused by the, the situ by the virus. No, it's not caused by the virus. It's caused by the by people buying less than usually and you are not being prepared for that. Oh yeah, but it's because of the virus. No, it's because of the people's reaction to the spread of the virus, to the to what the, to the reaction to what the government says. And and there are so many things connected. So the, it, it, what the government says, the the policies set by the government, the culture in the society, people's reaction, uh, people you know, the reaction of people that you know, how well your business is prepared, uh, you know, to deal with emerg emergencies, yeah, how much savings have you got. There are so many factors that decide whether you go bust, but mainly is because you're making losses. That's the only reason. And there is no connection, okay? So the connection between the virus and you is so long because there are so many steps in between. There is a virus, then it needs to somehow spread to people, then the, those people need to spread it further and further, then others need to, you know, help it, then p other people need to react to that in one place, then in another place, then the governments need to react all over the world, then the, the things need to spread, then, I don't know, the health authorities need to react in certain ways, then only then people need to react in, in certain way, businesses need to react in certain way, and maybe then as a result of all those things happening, maybe your sales will kind of dry down and maybe that's when you will start going bust but the virus is such a remote thing in that whole chain of reaction that it's just irrelevant you could equally say oh i'm going bust because aliens didn't come to save my business right now to save our planet from the virus you could equally say the same thing and it would be equally valid or you could say well i'm going bust because it's tuesday you know the connection is so convoluted so remote there is no connection basically you know, so, and you might be saying that I'm nitpicking, that's a metaphor. It doesn't matter. It teaches people irresponsibility. It teaches people that, you know, it's okay to blame some remote thing for your life, you know, and and that's far from the truth. You could blame your parents. You could you could say, oh, I'm going bust because my parents didn't warn me that if uh, there is a virus, such a situation will happen and I will need to be prepared. And I wasn't prepared, so it's my parents' fault. And your parents would say, well, but, but my parents didn't tell me that. The government didn't tell me that. And we could blame anything for anything going this way, seriously. So... <laughs> you need to learn how to distinguish fact from fiction, how to really see the connection, what's the real connection, what is the real reason behind things. And you know what? Reasons can be made up. I gave you already lots of examples. You could, anything could be made up as a reason and they don't matter. You know, what matters is what is happening. And if your business is going bust, if you've lost the job, well, tough luck. Okay, I'm. I'm obviously. I'm sorry for that. I'm. I'm I do not wish anyone to to be in a bad situation. But what I'm saying is that we need to distinguish the kind of a real connection between things and a made-up connection that's completely, you know, irrelevant. That's ridiculous and stupid. And when when you learn how to distinguish those connections, you will have much more power. Because if you're an entrepreneur and you say, oh my business is going bust because of the virus, what can I do? Well, nothing, obviously. I'm, how can I do anything with the virus, especially all over the world? Yeah, that's it. You're, you're game over, right? But if you are not thinking like this, if you're thinking properly, you are looking at your business and, and saying, okay, my income's going down. I'm not making sales. What can I do to make sales? Okay, 
Let me call my mates who are other business people. Let's brainstorm. Let's do a mastermind and figure out what we could do. Maybe we, I could sell some stuff to these guys. Maybe I could ask those guys for a loan. Maybe I could actually ask the government to buy it from me. Maybe we could somehow organize it and do something. You know, that's what entrepreneurs do. Real business people solve problems they don't you know blame some circ circumstances or some other stupid things because it's irrelevant the circumstances are irrelevant okay someone who's a problem solver will solve a problem most of the time someone who's a loser will be a loser and you know <laughs> the funny thing is that a big factor in all that is actually media Me and because they spread information and also by Phrasing articles like this, even if they this is not what they believe, but by phrasing it, they perpetrating this <laughs> this attitude. Oh yeah, it's because of the virus, you know. Let's blame the virus. It's not okay. It really isn't. It's not just a way of speaking. It's not a metaphor. You are if you, dear journalist, you are hurting everyone by because you disempower people instead of you know empowering people. You are telling them, oh, there is nothing you can do. It's the virus, the game over, you know, go to sleep, die, whatever. <laughs> there is nothing you can do. Instead, they should be publishing the stories of inspiration. How they, like, for example, there are those articles, of course, as well. Thank you, fortunately, showing six businesses or six um, industries that thrive in the current situation, you know, um, and similar things, you know, because in every recession, uh, in every crisis, there is someone who thrives, you know, either by accident or because they started thinking uh, and started responding to the situation instead of, you know, just uh, sitting down and, you know, ridiculous. <laughs> All right, then. So uh, what can you do? Again, look at the situation. There is nothing wrong. OK, well, oh. Obviously, if, if someone in your family or close friends have been affected, then I can understand you might be upset, you know, but that's that's a different story. But generally, if you're fine, everyone's around you fine. Again, there's nothing wrong. There, there's just a situation like we've had, you know, in our lives uh, many times. Yeah, this one is a bit different, you know, because it affects kind of the whole world. But it's still just a situation. Yeah. And what can we do? How can I make my life better? What can I you know, do. Shall I take on new hobbies? Shall I? I don't know. There are p examples of people <laughs> making the best out of the situation. People playing instruments for the neighbors, you know, communities coming together. There are so many great things you, you can uh, use this uh, time for, you know. So just think about how can you make your life better? How can you make the life of all those lovely people around you better? OK, just do it. OK, be happy make the best of the current situation and uh, take care, share the video with others so they can actually get on with their lives, be empowered and inspired. Or even better, you actually speak to them and tell them exactly what I just told you in this video. And you tell them yourself with your own words. And if they don't get it, you can play them the video, you know, watch it together with them. Uh, that is the probably the best way to do it and then discuss it by the way obviously give me comments uh, let's have a discussion about this if you want to talk about it you know so um, big thanks see you soon ciao